All right, the Orioles announced, because we've got to talk some baseball now, that Dean Kramer going to take the mound tomorrow night in Texas, what is certainly a must-win game. That's right, and sports director Mark Viviano explains that despite being down 2-0 in the best of five series, the Orioles remain confident thanks to what they have built up this entire season. The Orioles find themselves in a fight to stay alive in the playoffs, and they will take on that fight together. The players say team unity is a big part of what made them one of the best teams in baseball this year. 101 victories aren't the only measure of the O's success. There are elements of who they are and what they do that don't show up on a stat sheet. Awesome leadership, take care of each other, team first attitude, and it's generally a really selfless group. Adley Rutschman is one of the team leaders, part of the recent infusion of young talent, guys who played in the minor leagues together, now growing up together as big leaguers. I think it's what makes our clubhouse so close is the fact that you got guys who care about each other genuinely and um, it makes it that much more exciting and uh, that much better to show up to the ballpark every day. The O's now count on that closeness to help pick each other up down 2-0 in a playoff series. This is the time to rally around one another, you know, and not uh, turn your back on your teammates or think about anything in a selfish way. We're all in this together and, you know, we're going we're gonna to continue to fight together and I think it's that's what you need when you're, when you're down two games early and you need to win three in a row. You got to have a group of guys that are you know, willing to jump in the fire face first together. I asked manager Brandon Hyde the value to him of having a group of guys who are so unified. For me, it's a, a huge deal just because you're living together for six months and you're in such close quarters and you're, you're fighting with each other, you're fighting together um, on a nightly basis. Um, how does it happen? I think you create, I think it started a long time ago and we, we created a pretty good clubhouse culture in some really lean years. The Orioles have emerged from those lean years and appear to be a team that can be a contender for years to come, but the immediate focus is to save their series in the playoffs against the Texas Rangers. Game three in Texas tomorrow night. Back to you. All right, Mark, thank you. And Mark will be with Texas and the Orioles as they try to stay alive in the division series. His reports from Arlington all start tonight at 11 o'clock. All right, looking forward to it and wishing them well. well